Live at 5. And you Live at 5 Tuscaloosa Police telling us they have worked more than 350 car break-ins so far this year already, and most of those could have been prevented. And yes, we have said this so many times by locking your car, truck, SUV, van doors. Your Tuscaloosa reporter Brian Henry joins us live with new details on this case, Brian. Well, Morgan, Jonathan, it really is an astounding number if you think about it. According to Tuscaloosa Police, 85% of the vehicles broken into were unlocked. That's the message city officials are driving home today. With Tuscaloosa being a college town, you have a number of students who are here for the first time, away from home, and not necessarily thinking about locking up their vehicles. But this type of crime happens across the spectrum here in town. Students and natives, thieves taking advantage of the situation. We continue to have a major problem with unlawful breaking and entering of cars. Most of them are unlocked and they have guns inside. The guns that they see later out on the street are coming from people's cars that they leave outside their homes. To me, I, that makes no sense. First of all, an unlocked car, a gun in your driveway and you're inside that house. Tuscaloosa police say the criminals typically target densely populated areas in town, such as apartment complexes near the campus, because that is where they find most or a lot of the cars and trucks. Your Tuscaloosa reporter, Brian Henry, WBRC 6 News, on your side.